Family doctors from around the state held a virtual roundtable today to discuss the upcoming flu season and their concerns for patients of all ages. A reoccurring worry, the number of people who have yet to be vaccinated or don't plan to be. Since the beginning of COVID pandemic, we have seen an alarming decrease in vaccinations that protect against highly contagious and serious illnesses. Now we need to reverse this trend, particularly as flu season approaches. Dr. Bina Nagapella from Southeast Michigan says vaccine fatigue remains strong, but flu can be fatal for all ages. We see firsthand the devastating outcomes of not protecting loved ones against vaccine preventable illnesses. The CDC estimates 31 million people got sick with flu last flu season. 14 million went to the doctor because of it. 21,000 people died, including children. 176 related deaths were reported in children last year. This is the third largest number of deaths in children reported during a seasonal flu epidemic since reporting started during the 2004-2005 flu season. Family doctors from northern Michigan are concerned that flu vaccination rates for children living in rural areas were 19 percent lower last year than for children in urban areas. Vaccines help our immune systems recognize and learn to fight off uh, contagious diseases. All of the doctors urged everyone aged six months and up to get a flu shot as soon as possible. The flu vaccine can prevent flu. It can also make symptoms less severe. It can reduce time missed from work and school and reduce flu-related hospitalizations and death. We must be vigilant to keep our families safe, and that is why we urge parents to get everyone in the family up to date on their flu vaccine before we reach peak caseload, before the holidays, before we are spending so much time inside together, which create perfect opportunities for flu spread. So last year's flu season got off to an early and a really strong start in October with cases climbing rapidly into December. These doctors say right now they are seeing a number of COVID cases, but not much flu. They stress that means if you get your flu shot now, it will have sufficient time to reach full protection before the flu begins spreading more widely.